Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 30 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create your own header files, as well as edit them and use them in your program. So we've already worked with uh, multiple header files, one of which is the standard input-output header file, which gives us a bunch of functions that we use in pretty much all of our programs. But basically, I want to teach you how you can create your own header files and what they're useful for. So, for instance, we create a lot of pound defines and function prototypes when we start making uh, larger programs, and sometimes we don't want all the clutter in our main.c file because it does take up a lot of room. So sometimes we just want to separate these and put them in our own files or our own header files. So basically I'm just going to jump right into this. So how we start to create the file is we can just go to file new file or you can also go to the action button right here just hit add new file and under the Mac OS 10 heading there's a subheading C and C++ and it gives us three different files on the end there's the header file or the .h file that we are looking for so now we can just hit next at the bottom we can label it whatever we want my header and generally you want to label it something that uh, pertains to your program but I don't really have anything to label it so I'm just gonna call it my header dot H so I'm just gonna hit finish and we're done so now it created our header file for us with a bunch of information that pertains to uh, me I guess and what we're working on but I don't really need it so I'm just gonna delete that so now we can just start throwing in our pound defines if we want. So I just typed in pound defines. I meant pound define. So we can type in pound define, k max length if we want, and we can give it a value of 50. We can even create our own function prototypes, like void my function. And basically, we're just doing the exact same thing that we would do in our main.c file at the top of the file, but now we're making it in a separate file altogether. So, um, in general, you'd also want to comment um, each of these sections. So, pound defines, and you could do that. And that just gives a little more clarity, clarity or whatever you want to say, to your file. Uh, shows you more of where everything is. So... Um, now, to include this into our program, we have to go back to our main.c file, and we hit pound include like we've done in the past, but now we can use double quotes, and we can just say my header.h, and that just means it's a local file that we've created, and um, it's, it's acceptable, and it works fine for um, my header.h. So basically any file that or any .h file that you create you can just use double quotes to bring it into your program. So now um, you have access to everything that's in my header.h. So we have our function prototype here and a pound define of kmax length. So now we're going to test it out and just save all of our stuff here. So now let's say we want to put in an integer and we'll call it kmax length. Since it's in our header file, it already recognizes it. Sometimes it won't recognize it, but it doesn't matter, it's still there. So now, printf and kmax length is, has a value of 50. So when we go to build and run this now, you'll see in our console we get a value of 50. So that's how that works. Uh, it's pretty simple. Again, you just create your own header file, you store all your information in it, and then you import or you include it in your main.c file here. So that's pretty much how header files work. Um, another way you can check all the header files that you already have is the uh, pound key over here. It can show my header.h, which is included, or your uh, standard input output header. So if you just wanted to check on your my header.h file, you could click it here, and it would bring you right to it. So that's how that's how uh, header files work in C. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments or just send me a message. And please, if you really do like these tutorials or have helped you at all in any way, I continue to make new tutorials every so often. So uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next tutorial.